Hello, I'm Russell McCown, CTO of Advanced Receiver Technologies in Dallas, Texas. What we have here is a proof of concept demonstration of our interference cancellation receiver for 3G cell phones. A well-known limitation of all cellular systems is intercellular interference. The large and rapidly expanding 3G network is no exception. At any one time, a handset is typically in range of two or three base stations or cell towers, but the user is only interested in the signal from one base station. The signals from the other base stations become interference that limits the data rate to the user and the overall network capacity. Our solution to this intercell interference problem is an advanced receiver called a Single Antenna Interference Cancellation Receiver, or SAIC receiver. We are building this receiver as, hard, as a hardware subsystem to be integrated into a baseband chip. The baseband chip is the primary communications component of handsets or laptop data cards, etc. The drawing on my right is a functional diagram of our test setup in the SAIC receiver. The burnt orange blocks are external lab equipment, an agilent WCDMA signal generator and channel emulator, and an oscilloscope. The yellow blocks are the real-time data path modules that are implemented as hardware in an FPGA chip. The remaining blocks are non-real-time signal processing modules that we can implement as either hardware or software. The FPGA chip is behind me on the other side of this board and the test signal is produced by the signal generator and displayed on the lower oscilloscope. This signal corresponds to the signal received by a handset when the subscriber is between two base stations or cell towers. In this test, the subscriber has wandered well into the interfering cell. The power of the interference is twice that of the desired signal. Our receiver estimates uh, the propagation channel from each base station to the handset. The display on the bottom of the center uh, screen shows the channel estimate uh, for the two signals. The receiver uses these channel estimates to compute equalization and rechannelization filter coefficients. Now the upper oscilloscope displays the output of the receiver as a QPSK constellation. By turning the interference cancellation on and off every seven seconds or so, we can see a fairly dramatic improvement associated with the single antenna interference cancellation receiver. The desired QPSK constellations, the, these four fuzzy balls, only appear when the interference cancellation is on. It's off and that's on. I should mention the raw bit error rate performance of this hardware based receiver is in agreement with the receiver performance curves that we sent uh, in 2007 to the Signals Research Group. Based on that data, Signals Research Group performed an independent evaluation of the impact of our receiver on user data rates and network capacity. The results of that analysis are detailed in this white paper, the Art Interference Cancellation Solution, quantifying the impact on individual data, user data rates and network capacity that uh, you can get to on our website. The ART SAIC receiver is essentially a no-cost solution to the intercell interference problem. It provides a greatly improved user experience and doubles the capacity of existing 3G networks. Thank you for your time.